Is your starling stinky now? No, it's not an odor, but it may still affect you. Come join us and we'll tell you what it's about. Hi, I'm Dan from the Mobile Internet Resource Center. So what's this about Starlink being stinky? No, it's nothing about being smelly. Um, it has to do about a tweet that Elon sent about a month ago that said they were going to be changing the default Starlink SSID or the Wi-Fi to stinky. And a couple of his follow-up tweets suggested that maybe that would get people to change the Wi-Fi to something other than Starlink. Or, and he even made another tweet saying, if you can't smell your Wi-Fi, is it real? Well, obviously Starlink doesn't smell, at least not yet. <laughs> but it appears that even though this tweet was maybe meant as a joke, it's actually become a reality. Uh, a day or two ago, we started to notice customers were reporting their Starlink Wi-Fi renamed to Stinky. And I tested it out, and sure enough, if you do a default reset on your router, it comes back up as Stinky. So while this isn't a big deal, it might trip up a couple people if they're not expecting that name to pop up. Now, don't worry, this isn't affecting your router if it's already set up and with your own Wi-Fi name and password. It's not going to magically change on you. However, if you do a factory reset on your router, or if your power blips three times in a row, which unintentionally will reset the router, it will come back up with the name STINKY in all capital letters. Letters. If you do need to factory reset your router, or you find that it unintentionally uh, has reset after a power blip, then the procedure for resetting it up is going to be the same as if your Starlink was brand new, taken out of the package. You're going to look for the Wi-Fi name, name STINKY. You're going to connect to it, and then you're going to give it its own Wi-Fi name and password. Now, if your router was previously set up or you're replacing an existing one, as long as you make the name exactly the same and the password, then any existing phones, computers, internet devices uh, that need internet will automatically connect to it. So you don't have to go around reprogramming all those devices. So hopefully this video will help you avoid uh, um, a panic if you suddenly notice that you no longer have a Starlink Wi-Fi and you find one called Stinky. Well, now you know why it exists and how you can correct it back to your own Wi-Fi name. These videos are brought to you by our premium members, our mobile internet aficionados. They make it possible for us to track this news and create these videos. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, leave a comment, subscribe to our channel, or better yet, consider becoming a member yourself.